What would you do if you find out a person that you thought was out of your league has a crush on you? Duck it up somehow. Same here I know I duck it right up. Please elaborate. Thinking someone is too good for you will always give you this back of your mind thought that you have to do something to be worthy of them, and you overthink it never really accepting or even acknowledge that they like you as you are. Most likely by the time I realized it, I've already stopped doing the things she likes about me because what she sees as cute slash attractive quirks I see as my weakness. Then she stops liking me cause I ducked up. Edit, didn't expect my highest voted post would be how I fail with women edit too. I hope I was able to reply to everyone. Not sure if the advice I've given will fit your life, but I only can speak for what I've dealt with. Edit 3, so excited to be able to say. Thanks for my first and second gold kind strangers. Thanks my first silvers as well. Generally wake up. Are you me? Are you me that's also them who's also you but also me? Wait, now I'm confused. Who am I? Every healthy relationship I've ever seen was just two people who felt like the other one was completely out of their league and always consider themselves lucky every day that the other person wants to be with them. Nobody dates someone they think they are too good for. So it's much more important to really just take the time and get to know that person. Find what interests you share, what hobbies you can do together, and what it is about their personality that complements your own. I think if it happened to me all I'd want is to just find out who they are as a person, find out what they want in life, and let it go from there without trying to psych myself out so much that I don't enjoy just being with them. Yup, I married up in a major way. She has helped me grow into being a man who actually may deserve her 15 years, to kids, still feeling lucky she gave me a shot. I bet my life that your wife will feel the same about you. That's the best thing about meeting the one is that both of you years and years later are still wondering how lucky you are. It would boost my self confidence by 150% and I'd try to make the relationship work. I'd most likely find a way to screw it up, but I think it would be a win win whatever the outcome. Me trying to figure out how much is 150% of zero. Ask you sure. I've literally had a text conversation that went something like, huh, let's go out, me, you and I, huh, yeah, me, why me, and no, I didn't end up going out with her, I'll just use being 17 and dumb as my excuse. <laughs> Happened to me, found her staring at me multiple times, she sent me all the signals, it was probably the first time in my life that I really detected these signals. When the reality of it hit me, I took a deep breath, actually multiple deep breaths, and decided to go for it. I called her, and asked her out on a date. We were together for a year. I miss her. If I find out another such girl has a crush on me, and I like her too, I'm going to ask her out. I thought that my crush was sending me signals too, but she was just being nice. She's also lesbian. Edit. Super thank you for all the upvotes and gold. I did let her know about this post sort of. It happened to me. Three times. Three times I messed up. What happened and how did you mess up? The first time, she was me friend. So when I knew it, I feel afraid of lose her friendship. Then I start to keep distance. At the end we wasn't even friends. And time later, I saw her in a party. We both was drunk. And she come to me and say I was the love of your life. But you are so stupid. Marry her. Guy that married a girl way out of his league. That had a crush on him. Edit. Thank you all kind strangers. I would be super happy. And probably get a boner. I'm not sure what would I do though. I'd do absolutely nothing. I've got 28 years of experience in doing nothing. And then regretting it. The only winning move is not to play. More like the opposite in this situation. Not playing is a guaranteed loss. I'm dating her, and hoping I don't screw it up. Congrats and good luck. I actually had this happen in my sophomore year of high school. I consider myself exceedingly average, and this girl was strikingly gorgeous. Well, one day in science class we got put together on a group project, and we seemed to get along pretty well. So after a few days of talking a little more in class, I didn't have her number. I asked her out as a spur of the moment thing. Guess what she immediately said? Nope. And pretty much ran away. 
It wasn't until several weeks later where she came up to my at the end of the school day and nervously, while blushing madly, handed me a slip of paper with her number on it. Apparently she was actually really into me, but was too nervous to say yes when I asked her out. She and I went out for 4 or 5 months. Eventually she broke up with me, because even after all that time I was too nervous to make a serious move. We had kissed like once, and it was a small one. So yeah. My answer is the same as everybody else's on here. I ducked it up XD. There's something wrong in the matrix. Wake up from my dream. Apparently I'd kiss them. This is the story of my current girlfriend and I. She was my coworker for a bit before anything else, and before I got the chance to properly meet her for myself I though she was cute and a lesbian due to another coworker having mentioned it. Cool. I'll have another friend to smoke with whenever we are not working. I expected nothing of it, but then we started hanging out outside of work. We spent around 3 evenings together, driving around, smoking, watching TV and just other friendly shit. At the time I was thoroughly convinced that this girl had no interest in any potential advances so I chalked up the massive romantic tension building between the two of us to just be the byproduct of my teenage boy brain. And boy was I wrong. At the end of the night about 3.30 in the morning I had just finished taking off a skirt she wanted me to try on. So I was in my boxes and a t-shirt getting ready to leave when I noticed she was staring at me. Great, right? Well not really. I was so stoned and emotionally confused I forced myself to ignore the gentle call of her lips because I didn't want to risk creeping her out or ducking things up. But she caught me staring back at her and asked in the quietest, sweetest, and cutest voice I've ever heard. Wait what are you doing? Where are you going? Those two questions were enough to push me into action as at that point I was either having auditory hallucinations or she was as excited as I was. So I finally kissed her and it went better than either of us could have imagined. Everything was electric and it felt like we were just meant for each other or at least that's how I felt. I guess I can't really speak for her at that point, but we made out for a bit, and I eventually forced myself to go home. A victory? Right. It had to have been. Not just yet though. The reality of our situation was going to be more trying. The truth I neglected to mention to this amazing woman was that I was on vacation from uni. I was single as all duck, so that wasn't an issue, but I didn't even officially live in the same place she did. I told her the next day. We decided it'd be best to see where the last bit of my vacation took us, and handle it from there. So we kept hanging out for the last 3 weeks of my break. Eventually it came to the eve of my departure and we were sealed up in her room lying on her bed talking about how shitty it was going to be being so far away. And one of us, most likely me started crying. And after a bit of comforting it was decided that we tried to do something over a long distance. We had a good cry together after that as there was a massive weight lifted off our shoulders as we both knew we'd have a chance to be able to keep up with one another. The rest of it is all history. It's only been 11 months, but things are still going great. We are not living together just yet, but we are living in the same state again and after about 6 months of long distance I don't think I'll ever want to go back. This did happen, and now we are dating. The ex is great, and I find myself constantly looking over at him thinking how lucky I am. We just had our one year recently. It's an eye-opening part of this thread that girls actually think guys are out of their league. As a girl reading this I was confused only seeing guys answer. I think plenty of guys are out of my league. If we match on Tinder I assume it was an accidental swipe. I would never join a club that would have someone like me as a member. Woody Allen slash Groucho Marx. I've read enough manga to prepare me on this scenario. Edit. Holy shit. Thanks. Fellow men of culture.